Hi, this is just a short video to show you how to permanently save settings using your template file. Relatively straightforward. So, um, for example, in my project here, you'll notice I've got two sheets that open up by default. Um, if I click on my settings, you'll also notice here, um, obviously this, there's a bunch of settings and stuff. So the first thing you notice is there's a template file located here in the middle. So this is the file that gets loaded by default every time you open a project. So um, all I'm really going to do here is save this one. So um, to do so, make sure you get a blank project, uh, nothing in there, nothing in the device, um, which is quite important. Make sure there's no pro uh, components in here unless specifically needed. And then from here, you can have you know one or two sheets if you wanted to. Um, I had a situation where someone wanted a, a form board or a panel sheet or something like that, for example. Um, so if you've got that open in your settings, feel free to change your settings. Um, you know, for example, uh, your dis display. Um, I normally have the inline uh, grid points, text fit to box. I've also noticed um, quite useful is the zoom pan. The zoom pan is pretty slow by default, so if you change that one uh, to a 20%, you'll notice it will, um, if you hold control, it zooms at a bit better rate. Um, the other thing as well is normally dimension. Uh, you'll want to change the dimension to net segment. Um, you know, put a suffix um, in a few millimeters. You don't really need a precision um, because you know, I think one millimeter is precise enough, um, and that should give you a, a bit of the basics. So any other settings you can change, change, click OK, apply, whatever you might need to do. So from here, what you do is go File, Save As, uh, and the first thing we need to do is change that um, to a template file, so E3T. And then if you locate your um, installation directory, and then you can save it, project IEC. Uh, you can save this one anyway. It can be a server, it can be on the installation directory, anywhere else you might need to do. Um, but I've just got mine sitting here. Uh, save. And then, like I said, make sure in the settings, if you wanted to create a new name, I'll just write it. Uh, make sure that it's obviously pointing to the same file as such. Um, so from here, every time you open a new project, uh, it'll go back to the default setting. Uh, pretty straightforward. I hope that makes sense. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you've got any questions, uh, leave them in the comment section. Otherwise, contact PowerJump Technologies. Thank you.